Right, hello my gravy granules, uh, back again. Need to get a new intro. Do, 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 do. Right, I think today we're gonna... I don't actually know what I'm gonna do today. Fuck it, I think we'll hang around with the... Uh... <clears throat> Excuse me, the, the fat fucker again. No, no Zoomy or whatever the fuck his name is. It's a bit of a loony, if you ask me. Where the fuck am I going? Port Island. There he is. Munch, munch, burp, oh hey, gravy kun, wondering about my clothes. Well, you see, the reason I wear our school uniform is nothing else will fit. Anyway, want to go for a bite somewhere. My poor stomach has been crying for a while. Would you like to hang out with him? After school? What? Wonder my gourmet friend. Then let's go to the beef bowl shop. That's the place for you. What a weirdo. You have a pretty good appetite, you even kept up with me, Burp. You must be one of those people with an extre with extreme metabolism. Sometimes I run into people who think they can take my title of Gourmet King, they're jealous. Remember that middle-aged man who I scared off one time? I'm pretty sure he was an assassin of sorts. They think they understand how I got this far, but they're wrong. The sooner they accept that, the better for them. Because of your courageous appetite, I will declare you as a supporter of the Gourmet King. This is something history places something history places upon you, so you aren't allowed to refuse. Well, that was incredibly short. I'm not sure what the moon, why the moon uh, tarot card has a scorpion in the middle between two L's. Do, do, do. Your name's Sex, right? I think you're a year younger than me. It kind of feels like I have a younger brother now. So how about it? Do you want to have me as a big brother? Sure, okay. There's a bit of resemblance, but alas, it's not to be. We'll have to remain friends. He's observing you carefully. Isn't it always the way I get my mind working and just makes me hungry? I just finished that beef bowl, but I'm already aching for more. I think I should keep eating. It'd be staying true to myself and that's good, right? Maybe I'll even get even get more hungry if I walk backward. That works sometimes, right? You're coming too, right, Sex? You have to. You're one of my supporters. By the way, I made up this backwards walking thing, so don't steal it. Why would I want to do that? You tagged along with Nozumi. Nozomi. On your quest for another beef bowl. You said goodbye after the second meal and returned to the dorm. Hello. Hello. I heard some people who... Oh, fuck off. Try not to be so boring, Ken. Ken cunt. <laughs> Get it? Everyone seems thoroughly exhausted since Mitsuru, blah, blah, blah. Not interested. Seems well empty without, like, with them all upstairs. Just Ken cunt downstairs. I love that. It's like you go home and then you literally just go out again. Oh, he's not even here. What, what a knob. I'm wondering if they remake this, if they'll do it like Persona 5 and um, make everywhere more, um, what do you call it, more populated. Because obviously that's it, based in Tokyo. Tokyo! Oh, this fucking boring little shit again. How are you? 
are you? I remembered something else. The end won't be brought about by anyone in particular. Cool. It's coming because there are many people who wish for it. As if it was destined from the start. But doesn't that seem like a strange thing to wish for? <laughs> who cares? Are you certain? Are you certain? What about those who hope for an end to their suffering? Who wish to find peace? There's always a reason to live. Even people that say they like commit suicide. Oh no, so like I I don't really want to get into that topic. Well, enough about that for now. There's something else I wanted to tell you today. Soon the poisonous flowers will bloom. One in your own garden, and three in the garden opposite yours. I don't know whether or not this has anything to do with the end. But you should be careful. I'll come again if I find out anything useful. That's what friends are for, right? I'm not your fucking friend. <laughs> Look at his cold dead eyes in the bed. Don't care, we can almost... We can almost make Thanatos. Oh no, we're only halfway there. You're no longer tired because you rested, thank fuck for that. It's Lizzie the Lizzie. Hello, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you of a change in Tartarus. I believe a path that was blocked is now open. I thought you would like to know. I wish you a safe journey. I shouldn't do accents. Nobody seems to complain though, so... <clears throat> so I got something stuck in my throat, probably my tongue, but... Daytime. Gay time. It's me. Well, that could be anybody. I'm sorry to bother you while you're resting, but can I have a word with you? Yeah. Coming. Good morning. There's something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. Come to the fourth floor meeting room when you get home tonight, okay? I'll see you then. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. It's, it's pretty fucking obvious what it is. But I will I will keep the suspense for... Um... Oh look, I can do some... You have something planned tonight, will you study until then? Ah... <laughs> <laughs> ah, plot twist. I can play with Maya. I hope Tatsuya gets here soon. Maya is walking nearby. I'm not even complaining today or anything, so rare. But I have to tell Tatsu because he's my MMO partner, I'll be brave. I'm so lame, I'm blushing for reals. Oh no, now I'm starting to get sweaty. Hurry up and tell me. Oh hey Tatsuya, he 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 XD. Maya seems to be enjoying herself. I wanted to tell you last time, but I chickened out, blush. Maya seems to be embarrassed. I'm kinda interested in someone from school. He's kinda a teenager though. Oh my god, I said it. None of the male teachers are even in my league, so I gave up looking for BFs at work. I never thought I'd fall for a student. Uh, less less than three 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 three. Going for younger guys is kind of new for me. What is he like? Hmm, he's kind of quiet but real mature with intense looking and hot. I love watches his, watching his expressions in class. Is that bad? He's one of my students. He just transferred in this year after his parents died. I will comfort him. Maybe I can abuse my power and convince him I'm a guidance counsellor. Oh, by the way, you don't need to be jealous. He's just some someone I like, right? Tatsu is the only game partner for Maya. No worries. Your relationship is stronger now. 
yeah, so if you haven't figured out the... Well, obviously, the person they fancy is you. But I'm not going to say who it is. The plot thickens. Probably one of the funniest. I haven't made my appointment yet, but I'm going to go to a salon. Sex Sexton will fall in love with me before the weekend. Alrighty, Tatsia, I got to go. Let's think positive. Before the weekend, it is the weekend, you silly sausage. Edgy as fuck. Does this mean we have a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. Huh? Like, hang on, how did Igus and Junpei walk in and not notice anything? Koro-chan? Are you okay? Where'd you get this collar? That collar is designed to help control his persona. In other words, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean he'll be going into battle? It was a surprise for me as well, but according to the tests, it's quite possible. In fact, it was the chairman's suggestion. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Is that okay with you, Koro-chan? He said, I'll return the favor. <laughs> Man, you're one loyal dog. <laughs> hey, make yourself at home. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. It's summer break after all. Yes, it is. Enjoy your vacation while you can. Summer classes start next week. I'll see to it that you graduate. Hey, good one, Senpai. You almost had me there. Oh, it's no joke. We'll be taking intensive courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been balancing school and our late night excursions. You haven't had much time to study. I apologize for that. That's why the chairman agrees that this is a good idea. I thought I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? This is the first I've heard of it. Um, sorry. I forgot to mention it. Aw, oh, man. Hey, with your grades, you should be thanking her. <laughs> Fucking bitch! <laughs> Don't you think? Well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's make the most of it. What a bitch! We're we we're acing exams, and they're like, oh, you gotta go to summer school. You can fuck off. <laughs> Although we're only on smart, we need to be on genius level. How can I help you? By the way, how are we going to feed Koro-chan? Are we going to buy dog food or cook homemade meals for him? Don't fucking know, don't fucking care. Nobody seems to eat in this game anyway. What would you, would you like to see how the others are doing? I think he's in great condition. No! He's, I think he must be one of the only people that doesn't have great condition. To be honest, he's a bit lame at the start. He's uh, he only has three moves, and he's level thirty-four as well. What a bastard! What um, can't even remember what moves he gets. He just gets fire and darkness, doesn't he? And then speed boosts. But then, that, how does that make eight moves? Obviously, he gets two each. Hmm. Interesting. I have to look that up later. Oh no, he gets um physical skill as well, I think. And darkness boost or something like that. Oh 
Oh look, she's going to get 10 Terrafu. Or whatever you want to call it. Soon. Is there anything else I can help you with? Just like in sports, no matter how strong you are, if you don't study your opponent, you can't win. The same with school, if you don't study, you can't pass your test. Dogs can be very reliable, you know. Why are rescue dogs seeing eye dogs and narcotic detection dogs? Let's put our trust in Karamaru. Don't forget that you're a student and students are supposed to study. Use this time to increase your academics. Don't care. We're going to take a, t a little take care of Karamaru here at the dorm. It'll be a lot of fun having him around. Dude, this sucks. Summer school is so lame. Don't you agree? <laughs> I can't wait to study. What? You're messed up, man. Yeah. Sai, I feel like I'm going to become one of the lost. Not really. Acting nonchalant as usual, huh? Man, I wish I could be that way. <laughs> Looney. Summer school, huh? Well, it's not that I don't like to study. I just don't think we should have to study during the summer vacation. Yeah, I don't think we should either. I'd rather fucking, you know, set my head on fire. Two notifications on my phone, what the fuck? Coach you sex. Are you free at the moment? If so, blah 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 blah. Yes, I'll talk to him. My, you're enthusiastic. The other day, a woman came to my office asking asking for a donation. She was the kind of girl that men dream of, drop dead gorgeous. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Are you going to donate? Of course not, I hate the very word. Why should I give my hard earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? <laughs> Classic. I pulled myself out of, the, out of squalor to get where I am today. In fact, I've earned the right to laugh at those who used to laugh at me. That's what I always had dreamt of, but to tell you the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming and I'm so busy I don't have time to spend a dime. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and help them help them master my management techniques. I could create a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me a fortune, but if it works, then I could sit back and relax in my massage chair. How about it? Want to become my successor? I even let you join the Tanaka family. Just kidding. People would think I'm a weirdo if I adopted a boy as old as you. <laughs> What a fucking loony. What rank are we ni now? Nine, I think, yeah. Donate for the sake of the less unfortunate. What? No, it should be donate for the sake of the less fortunate. See, uh, there's your translation error. What pissed me off is like there's people, there's um, that thing with Persona 5 and people saying, um, oh, P Persona 5 is a failure in in uh, translation. It's like, okay. They give like really, really specific translation errors. They say errors, but they're not really. But it's like, the the thing they do is like, they give no context to the things that are being spoken in the game. People are fucking joke. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry! Oh, somebody in my eye. And no, it's not my fucking eyeball. 
Come on, let's go. Not much happening in this other than we've had Karamari join us. Fuck's sake. Don't care. Oh shit. I will explain Karamari san's persona to you. Its name is Cerberus. It is very it is it is proficient in fire and darkness skills, very fitting for the Guardian of Hades. Don't forget that you have stu fuck's sake. Go away, you unpopular person who is not French. By the way, how are we gonna feed him? Maybe I don't wanna bloody go to school. See in here? Junpei doesn't seem to be in his room. What a shame. Play the MMORPG. Attention players, although we initially planned to allow Innocent Sin to run indefinitely, recent feedback has shown that player participation is not adequate to continue. We are terribly sorry for any inconvenience this causes for active players. However, the servers will remain open until the official end date. We hope that you understand and that you enjoyed your time with Innocent Sin. Sincerely, Innocent Sin staff. You logged on to the game. Inside Luna Vale Hospital, Maya is in the room. You got that message from the admins, right Tatsuya? Maya faces away from you. It said they're cancelling Innocent Sin. Think it's for real? No way. I know, right? How dare they? I finally found a place to let out my frustration and now this. Maya gets closer to you. Tatsuya, do you think we'll still be able to see each other? I think so. Yeah, we can meet each other in different ways, I guess. Maybe there'll be another MMO or we should hook up IRL, but still. Maya seems sad. No, we have to stop wasting our time. Maya's not going quietly. I'll beat them to the punch. What are you planning? Oh, don't worry, Tatsu. I won't do anything dangerous. I'm gonna send them the log info. The log fo, the convo, the convos we've been having together here. If they know this game is important to us, maybe they'll reconsider. Even though Tatsu is just some lonely kid and Maya likes to bitch too much, that shouldn't matter. To tell the truth, I kind of hope you're a handsome guy, though. Don't worry, Maya will protect you. We'll always be partners, okay? Whatever, um, rank nine. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to go write my email with our convo log. Don't mess with Maya and friends or, or you'll regret it. <laughs> Next time, we'll celebrate our victory. Okay, bye. Maya's player signed off. You decided to log out as well. I wonder what teachers actually play video games online. I know I used to have a IT teacher and she used to play Call of Duty on PS3. <laughs> and someone was actually friends with her on, on PSN. I was like, what an absolute fucking legend. It's the first day of summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Who is that? Miss Toriyumi. No, oh, not this fucking guy. He'll just witter on about things. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just try and focus. Try and get a little. But let's just try and get through class. Focus, focus. You must be very cautious, students, to be taking this course. <sighs> fucking hell, I can't read. You must all be very curious, students, to be taking this course over the summer. I'm not really sure what to make of that. <laughs> well, let's talk about something interesting today. 
All you future magicians will want to pay, pay close attention. Today's subject is tarot. That's right, those cards often used in fortune telling. Originating in the 15th century, Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divin divination. A variety of different versions of tarot card decks exist, including the Maricel and Rider decks. Marcel, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Rider decks. But today, in respect of the great magician Crowley, we will be using the Foth deck. First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards, and 56 minor arcana, or number cards. The minor arcana are also sometimes called pips. The major arcana feature a variety of illustrations on their faces, beginning with the fool and ending with the world. They tell a story in numerical order that is a metaphor for, of an individual's journey through life. Each major arcana represents a stage on that journey, an experience that the individual must incorporate to realise one's his oneness. They're all important, so let's take a look at each of the 22 cards one by one. First card is numbered zero, it is the Fool, it represents the beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. The next card, the Magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. The Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents motherhood and, and the life it brings forth. The Emperor is the opposing card, it represents fathering and relates to leadership and decision making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge and stands for religion. The lover's card represents choice. Here the individual's consciousness has finally surfaced. The chariot represents victory for the individual, but only a momentary one. Momentary one. Justice represents the knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. The hermit represents the individual's search for answers by looking inward, deep inside his heart. Fortune represents fate and with the opportun and the opportunities that come with it. Strength represents both passion and self-control. Is depicted as power with reason. Hanged man reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual death awaits the individual with the thirteenth card, which is aptly named death. Death is considered a transitional card. The old ends and the new begins. Now let us continue along the path following the transition. Temperance is the balance of opposites. Opening his eyes to the world allows the individual to grow. And as the devil represents, he then faces temptation. At the tower, his values collapse on him, and he seems as if he is no longer has anything to believe in, but he then finds a glimmer of hope represented by the star, and he is suff suffused with the, a serene calm. This bliss makes him vulnerable to the illusions of the moon. Fears arise and he follows the dim path in his heart with trepidation. He is rewarded with the bright future, represented by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the end his journey at the end of his journey as he looks back on the path he has travelled. The final card is the world, which represents the individual's full awareness of his place in the world. That is the growth of an individual as explained by the tarot cards. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with you young folks just yet, hmm? Now you can use all 78 cards to divine the future in detail. But most people only use the 22 major arcana. Okay, next let's talk about how to tell fortunes using the major arcana. First you will need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, it, its meaning will change, so it's important. Fucking hell. Yeah, basically, if if that um, it ha if it hasn't sort of triggered within you yet, the when he explained the uh, tarot cards that is that relates to the social links. It's the third day of summer school, despite the heat. Your lecture continues. Love how you can't do anything during the afternoon or at the night in the night. Takes the biscuit. Fourth day, despite the heat, continues, whatever. 
how our academics hasn't increased, I don't know. Oh my god, I got another fucking day of this. Fifth, fifth day here. L now let's begin. Yoda he have a he. How are you all handling the heat? If I could brew you some of my special tea if you like. Now let's continue with our special summer study, the truth behind magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. I assume all of you have seen, have at least heard of Kabbalah, yes? It is known as the mys mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures, but as I've mentioned before, it has had great impact on Western sorcery. It has said to learn the secrets of magic first, you must truly understand Kabbalah. Now, who was the person who formed this incredible ideology known as Kabbalah? Well, according to legend, it was Moses. Yes, that Moses, the Moses who gave us the Ten Commandments and split the Red Sea. But in reality, it was formulated by a group of rabbit rabbits long ago. However, because it, it consists of such complicated coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now, it is important to note that the there are many different ancient methods of deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there's gem Gematria, the interpretation of text by replacing letters with numbers they represent. There is not <sighs> Notarikon, where you take a letter from each word and form another sentence or thought. There's also Temura, which a, a method which the letters of the words are replaced, thereby giving the sentence a new meaning. These are very, these are very different methods. Make it these very different methods. I can't even read all these different methods. Make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. Fuck's sake! I can't read for shit. I say this every episode. Now, one of the most important ideas about ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, formed of the ten Sef Sef Sephirot. I don't know. Most illustrations depict it as a chart shaped like a tree. The ten stages represented by the, the Sephirot. And there are 22 paths of connecting them represent the stages of creation God formed from his own self, as well as the, as well as the direction in which humanity could evolve. Where did this come from? Where are we going? These answers lie in the Sephirot. When training your magic, it is important to picture the Sephirot every so often. And when you are meditating, you should focus on the Sephirot as well. If life was a test, the Sephirot would be the basic questions all aspiring magicians should know them. So, if you're looking for inspiration, try your hand at the Sephirot. By the way, did you notice all? Did you notice that I said there were 22 paths? Yes, that's right, the same number as the Major Arcana I spoke about earlier. Now, continuing on, according to the Sephirot, we, the world is broken up into four stages. F oh shit! Didn't read that. I thought it was. I thought it was going to say the thing. But I won't have time for that junior lecture. If you're interested, stop by after school. Everyone is welcome. Don't, can't, can't go back and read what it was. Oh well. This fucking magic talk is boring after you've read it four times. Or more. Last day of summer school. Thank fuck for that. There's going to be a summer festival at the shrine tomorrow. You going? Really? Well, I probably won't go. I'm in a bit of a financial crisis, plus I don't have anyone to go with. What a shame. I have learned the meaning of the summer festival. It seems like a very interesting event. I'm looking forward to wearing the special item of clothing called a yukata. This will be a new experience for me. Our Karamari is looking at you pleadingly. He seems to want to go for a walk. If no one else has taken him out, you can walk Karamari at night. Occasionally your dorm mates will join you. Walking Karamari will take up your time for the night. He seems to want to go for a walk. Igus can go with you tonight. I'll take him out later. Hmm? Our senpai went out again? Where did they get the energy? I'm so tired, I think I'm going to go to bed early tonight. Our senpai aren't here, so we can't go to Tartarus. But don't worry, we'll be able to go soon. Don't really care. 
Where's Ken Kant? Yeah, fuck it, let's go with Arg Igus. Go together. Komaru Sam seems very happy. He's able to go on his walks and come here with his friends. This must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to clothe oneself in a yukata? I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. Infiltrate? What a loony. Welcome back! Shall we return to the dorm? This is come again, Karamaru san. Don't know why don't know why she was the inca incarnation of evil. I was in a shop the other day and there's a there's a kid screaming and it sounded like fucking the devil incarnate. Satan is real. Never heard a kid scream so much. However oh fuck's sake. You are suffering from fatigue. Time to die. You're still tired. Summer vacation continues. There is a summer festival today at Naganaki Shrine. Beep, beep. Oh, hi, Sexkun. This is Yukari. Couldn't have figured that. Hey, did you know that the summer festival is being held at Naganaki Shrine? Wanna go with me? Sure. Really great. You decided to go to the summer festival with Yukari Chan. Aww. You've come to Naganaki Shrine with Yukari. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Oh, that yukata is so cute. I didn't know they make ones like that. I should have looked harder. You have a nicer figure. Really? Wait, have you been checking me out? I guess you're a guy after all. I guess I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, you better. You cut us are pretty skimpy if you ask me. They're nice in warm weather, but they don't really offer much protection, and they take some getting used to. I guess women in the old days were just tougher. <laughs> Who says a woman has to be weak? Mmm, smells so good. I guess it's dinner time, huh? That explains why I'm so hungry. Hey Sexcon, would you like to get some takayuki? I don't think I can finish it by myself, so will you help me? Excuse me, one order of takayoki, please. Um, can I have extra seaweed and no shaved bonito? And easy on the mayo. Hi there. It'll be ready in just a sec. Here you go. I gave you an extra one. Good luck with your boyfriend. <laughs> Thanks. Yukari seems excited. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? She called you my boyfriend. <laughs> he didn't even offer to hold it for her, I mean. Yukari is eating the takayoki. Mmm, hits hit haste like hit hike hon, hon, hit haste like hun <laughs> Yukari is trying to say something. Sorry, I shouldn't have talked while I was eating. I was trying to say that it tastes like octopiers, you know, that the, the, you know, the place by the station. Maybe she works at both places. Either way, it tastes so good. I love how there's rubbish by the side of the bin. Ooh, check out the masks. I've never seen these before. Hey, there's a dog mask. Wait, doesn't it look like Koro-chan? Oh yeah, this is his real home. Must be why there's a mask that looks like him. Although the shop isn't really related to the shrine, maybe I'm just imagining imagining the similarity. 
hey you two would you like to play luck draw all you have to do is pick a ball it's easy and everyone's a winner a game huh want to give it a try he says everyone's a winner i'll watch the box is filled with individually numbered balls pick one from the bottom you picked a ball from the bottom Ooh, let's see what you've you actually won how is that pos i mean congratulations <laughs> Well, here's your prize. You won a Jack Frost doll. Please come again. Obtained Jack Frost doll. Wow, Sexcon. I didn't think you could actually win at a place like this. This is probably the first time I've seen someone walk away with a prize. I was hoping we'd see some of our classmates here, but I guess not. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. But we had fun anyway, so guess it doesn't matter. Aren't, isn't he going to offer his Jack Frost doll to her? Uh -huh. I mean, I had a great time today. We should go somewhere else sometime soon. <laughs> oh my god, I should have I should have taken the clip from uh, Sengoku Basara where, uh, where Tsuruhime does a stupid little giggle and just replace it every time it comes up with giggle on the screen. Makes me fucking laugh. Karumaru son. You're no longer tired because you rested. Whoop de fucking do. Is this the day we get to go with everybody else, I think? Or something? I don't know. Beep beep. Hey dude, this is Kenji. Wanna go to the movies? I heard they're having a horror flick marathon marathon. Sounds pretty cool, huh? So what'd you say? Let's go, man. Since you have her up who up ho. Fuck it. You serious? Nice. See you later then. You've decided to go to the movies, Kenji. Detonator. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Theatre is crowded because the movies mar because of the movie marathon. There's a f new theme each day. Today they're showing horror movies. All right, dude. Let's. Get some seats in the front. You feel more courageous after watching the heroes in the movies survive. Courage has increased. Three movies in a row is just too much, dude. Let's get out of here. Don't don't cry. Oh hey. It's so hot, I hate this weather. Don't you agree? I don't mind it. Seriously, how can you not be hot? Anyway, there won't be another full moon until September, right after the summer break ends. It's like planning for exams, huh? Well, at least there are only four shadows left. We have to hang in there. Cool. <laughs> Ko Maru seems dispirited. <laughs> That's awesome. He wouldn't eat it. <laughs> that cracks me up. Okay. I overcooked my meal the other day. I didn't want to throw it away, so I gave it to Karamaru, but he wouldn't eat it. That bummed me out. I mean, I know I burned it, but I didn't think it was that bad. I know what else would bum you. <laughs> Get it? Because... My jokes. I know that Karachan didn't mean to hurt you, Karachan's feelings, but I'm sure he, she's a little down. I don't know what to do in this kind of situation. It's not the end of the fucking world, mate. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Um, be a lot more interesting stuff next time, probably, or something. I fed Karamara leftovers, usually beef bowl. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. It's a dog, it will fucking eat anything. Right, uh, there we go. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and fucking set your head on fire. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.